Hi everybody, my name is Joy John and welcome to Barnes & Noble Digital Storytime. Hey there, my name is Pete Oswald. I'm the illustrator of The Great Escape, written by my pal, Joy John. I'm very excited to be here today and I'm with, in a way, Pete Oswald, my friend and collaborator, who I work on many books with, including today's reading, The Great Escape. Um, we all know you're at home right now, so we'd like to read a story to you. I'd also like to mention that these interior illustrations were done by Saba Jashagani. She's very talented. She helped out on this book. Howdy. I'm Shell. An egg. How's it going? It's just me today. I'm on my own. The other eggs? Where are they? Good question. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it the Great Escape. Escape, eggscape, you get it. Me? I'm not really in the mood to run around if you want to know the truth. I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. No reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. Sure, there's part of me that wonders what they're doing right at this very moment. I have a few guesses. Right this very moment. Whee! Yeah! Aha! We look amazing! So festive! Let's play a game! One egg says, everybody pick a good hiding spot. Another egg says, great idea, Shell will have to come find us. A third egg says, he won't know where we are. One egg is hiding, I'm, I'm, I'm behind a tomato. Another egg is hiding, I'm next to the avocados. A third egg is hiding, I'm blending in with the potatoes, ha ha ha. And a potato says, what's so funny about that? Being a potato is serious business. Ah, this is the life. When you live in a carton with a lot of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. Exactly two hours, 36 minutes, and two seconds later. Hmm, nobody's back yet. Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelly and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyway, they should have been home by now. I'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress, no reason to pace, no reason to get all worked up. The clock strikes noon. Bong. Noon? It's noon? Morning is officially over. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do. Meanwhile, <laughs> hiding behind the pickles. <laughs> Everybody's hiding. I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one? That seems promising. Pickles, pickles, pickles. It's all pickles. Sheesh. Wait, Greg, is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding! But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you. Found you. There you are. Found you. Is that everybody? Line up, eggs. Let's see. We have you, you, and 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 you. That's 10 eggs, plus me, which equals 11. Hmm, wait just a minute, where's Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Meg! Wait, where are you guys going? I, I, to get some lunch, Shell. Then maybe take a nap. Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. So Shell says, eggs, halt. As the old saying goes, of a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good, let's go. 
Shell's now standing up here on the tomato soup and says, Greg, search the high shelves. Peg, check the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves. Sheldon, look through that bag of marshmallows. Shelby, comb aisle five. Egbert, investigate aisle six. Me, I'll scour the discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register. It might be a clue. Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue, Shell. I mean, it, it, it is a clue. Indeed, Greg, indeed. Hmm. Bulk. Bold. Bold bulk? Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me. Eggs to the bulk bin aisle. Onward. Wow, there are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? One of the eggs says, um, Shell, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? And it says, bold coffee. Shell says, of course, Peg, of course. Eggs! Shoulder stack, unite! <laughs> knock, knock, we know you're in there, Meg. Meg says, oh, hi, I thought you're never gonna find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton for once and into the world. Shell says, thanks, Meg, but it wasn't just me. We found you as a group. And now we're back together again. Woo! You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun. But the most fun of all? A chance to frolic with your friends. Say, when's the next great eggscape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed we shall, Shell. And that is the great escape. The end. Thanks, everyone.